Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. Professional Ethics Class. Actually, <clears throat> this uh, topic relates to Rule Numbers 50, 51, uh, Lost Rules. But anyway, important case. It actually, this case is coming from BCA Trust. That means uh, the judgment given by the BCA, which has gone up to the Supreme Court level also. Right. So the point is whether advocate can edit any paper, any magazine. Can advocate be the editor of any paper? Right. Can advocate do the business of the so called running the magazine? These three points have come to light in the case of Babulal Jain versus uh, Subhash Jain. This is actually found in BCA Trust. I don't know the year in which this has been disposed. Right. Coming to the facts of uh, the case, please remember Babulal Jain filed a case against, uh, that is misconduct against uh, Subhash Jain. So, with the following allegations. Let us come point by point. Subhash Jain is a practicing advocate as well as, please remember, as well as printer, publisher and editor of the weekly Azka Janata. Azki Janata. No doubt he is a liar. At the same time, he is the publisher, runner of all the, of this particular magazine, Azki Janata. Number two, at the time of enrollment, he, he made a representation, he made a misrepresentation, I can say. He did not inform the fact that he is the editor of source paper, magazine. Number three, even after enrollment, he did not stop the activity. He is continuing the weekly. As a lawyer, that means he is engaged in other business. Now these three points have come to light. Whenever such complaint comes, the BCA using the powers under section 35 of the Advocates Act, they have formed a disciplinary committee. The disciplinary committee following the procedure of CPC, Code of Civil Procedure, under section 36 of the Advocates Act, they have conducted the inquiry, ultimately gave, came to the conclusion in the following points. Better, I want to wish to inform you in the following points. Number one, the first charge that he made a misrepresentation or he did not inform the uh, bar council at the time of enrollment that he is uh, running a weekly magazine, Azki Janata. Definitely it comes as a violation of section 26 of the Advocates Act. That is disqualification at the time of enrollment. Of course, the disqualification is clearly dealt with uh, section 24A, but here even 26, uh, please remember, says uh, please, whenever there is any allegation against you, you have to inform. You cannot get enrollment through misrepresentation. Your name can be removed. So therefore, even though directly it does not come under professional misconduct, since it is uh, an act under section 26 of the uh, so-called advocates act, the name can be removed. So 35 normally will not attract because a professional misconduct means after becoming advocate. But here before becoming advocate, uh, he was having the so-called uh, printing press, but he did not inform this first charge. Second point, rule 51 allows an advocate to edit the legal proceedings, to review the parliamentary bills, to edit legal textbooks to give coaching to the legal people also. So, vetting of news, another point, vetting of newspapers, that means there will be some, uh, the so-called uh, <coughs> legal represented, legal news editors will be there, vetting of newspapers, and all these things can be done. But please remember, this does not include journalism. Please remember, are running newspapers. So, Rule 51 is also violated. He can edit, but here he is running a newspaper. Next, rule number 47. Advocate not to be engaged personally in any other business. So profession, legal profession is a noble profession. It is a 24 into 7 profession. You should only practice law, not any other business. So advocate is found actively indulged in running the weekly Azki Janata. It amounts to professional misconduct. 
So section 31 is attracted. Rule number 51, rule number 47, they have been violated. Therefore, it amounts to professional misconduct. So under section 35, he was suspended for a period of one year from the date of the art of the film. Okay, whatever it is. So it is a professional misconduct. Very classic case. Please remember this case. Of course, we are going to discuss it uh, when the regular classes come. Since you are busy with the court attendance, uh, I am only making the videos. After regular classes start, we will discuss once again. So with this, I am stopping. Thank you very much.